To get floral text effect, all you need is two things. First one is perfect bokeh stock image and second one is masking technique in Photoshop. So let's see how to achieve floral text effect in Photoshop. First go to file, new, create new canvas in Photoshop. I'm going with standard 4K size 38 by 40 and 21 by 60, 150 dpi, 1GB color mode. Else you can go to the project file, open the floral text PSD inside Photoshop. You can use this canvas. Next, we are going to create a background for our text effect. You can go with a solid color background or you can drop in any stock image. Here, I am going to use a stock image. Go to the project file, open the background image inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now, enable free transform tool and resize it. Of course, as I said before, you can use any image you want. Mostly pick a solid color background. Fine. Next, we are going to drop in our bokeh okay, stock image. For that, go to the project file, open the flower image inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. This image is neatly cropped. If you want, you can use any bokeh flower stock image for this design. Now I'm going to enable free transform tool and adjust the size a little bit. If you want, you can rotate the image. It's up to you. So now for placing at the center, I'll settle with this one. Next, we're going to add our text content for the create a layer. Go to color picker, select white color. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it. Now type in your text. While adding the text content, make sure to give extra space between the alphabets so that the effects will be more visible. I'm going with text loud. I'll adjust the position a little bit. Once you're done, next we're going to add drop shadow effect for that right click blending option. I'll select drop shadow. There, in the blending mode, I'm going with normal. I'll keep the opacity as 30. I'll keep the angle as 90. Distance as 4, spread as 7 and size as 2. Of course you don't need to go with exactly very same numbers. Feel free to experiment with the settings. This one is before, after. I have gone with minimal drop shadow effect. Once you're done, click OK. Next, create a duplicate copy of this flower layer by using keyboard shortcut Ctrl J. Now move the layer right above the text layer. Now we are going to add masking layer. Now select the masking layer. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut Alt Backspace. Now the entire layer is masked and the text layer is visible. Next we are going to unmask certain part of the flower image to create the floral text effect. Zoom in. Before that, select the text layer and reduce the opacity down to 60% so that our background flower image will be visible. Now we will get an idea which part to be unmasked to get the floral text of it. When it comes to this alphabet L, I'm going to unmask this leaves so that we will get the typical attractive floral text of it. Now select the top flower image masking layer. Now go to color picker and select white color. Now pick the brush tool. Now select hard round brush this one. Now zoom in and start painting white color to unmask the spots you want to reveal. Here I'm going to unmask the leaves. And yes, it's going to be a time consuming one. Carefully paint white color on the parts you want to reveal. Leaf. Next, we are going to see another trick to perform this unmasking process. We are going to use pen tool technique. It's going to be quite simple if you are a beginner. I'll teach you a simple technique. All you got to do is pick the pen tool. Make sure path is selected. You don't need to disturb other settings. I'm going to unmask this center leaf. For that, I'm going to create a path. Now, I'm going to place my first click here. 
and my second click goes here now we created a straight line path now we want a curved one for that i'm going to create an anchor point on center third click now hold the control key in your keyboard and create a curved path like so now fourth click goes here now i'll place the fifth click on the center which is anchor point now hold the control key and create a curved one there you go now we want to make certain adjustments so i create another anchor point here hold control key now close the path once you're done right click make selection make sure feather is zero and anti alias is enabled new selection click ok there you go we made a selection now go to color picker make sure white color is selected now fill the color using keyboard shortcut so alt backspace there you go we unmask the leaf perfectly this is the second method we are going to use the very same technique to unmask the parts we want for all other alphabets based on the flower image you can go with the brush tool technique or pen tool technique to unmask the parts now i'm going to continue the process now reduce the layer opacity to 60% and start unmasking all the leaves and flower parts you want i'll fast forward the process When it comes to this flower, I'm going to create selection using the same pen tool but a different way. I'm going to place the entire flower using the anchor points. Let's see how it works. Pick the brush tool, sorry pen tool. Make sure path is selected. You don't need to adjust any settings. Now zoom in. Start tracing the flower by creating anchor points like so. There you go. Now complete the path. Right click. Make selection. Make sure feather is zero. Click OK. There you go. We created our selection. Now fill the selection with white color. I use keyboard shortcut Alt backspace. Zoom out. Now I'll increase the text layer opacity to 100%. There you go. Looks stunning. I'm sure now we know what to do. All you got to do is apply the same technique to all other remaining alphabets. I'll pass over the process. Once you're done, next we are going to create shadows for all the unmasked parts so that it will look a little more realistic. All you got to do is hold control key in your keyboard and select the mask layer thumbnail. Now all the unmasked parts will be selected. Now all you got to do is create a layer right above the text layer. Now go to color picker. Select black color. Now fill the color using keyboard shortcut alt backspace. Fine. Now enable free transform to control T and move. 2 pixels down by using your keyboard down arrow key and 2 pixels to right side using your right side arrow keys. Fine, you created a shadow but it doesn't look realistic and it looks a little bit harsh. So for that go to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur, then I'm going to keep the radius as 7 pixels. Of course you can experiment with numbers here, click ok. Still it looks a little bit harsh. I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 60%. Based on the flower image, you can adjust the number opacity number here. Fine, I'm going with 60%. Now you may notice we got some dark parts which we don't want. We can erase the parts or unmask the parts. I'm going to use masking technique for that. Create masking layer for the shadow layer, this one. Now go to color picker, select black color, now pick the brush tool, soft round brush and mask the dark parts we don't want. If you notice we got a dark line here, I'm going to mask the part. So take your time and mask the dark parts you don't want. 
fine. Once you're done, next we're going to add the rectangle border. Now create a new layer right above the shadow layer. Now pick the shapes tool. Then select rectangle tool, this one. Disable the fill, enable the stroke. There I'm going to select white color. I'll keep the size as 35 pixels. Now create a rectangle border like so. Next I'm going to apply crop shadow effect, we are not going to do it manually, we are going to just copy paste it, now select the text layer, right click and copy paste the layer style, now paste the layer style to the border layer, there you go, next we need to mask the overlapping parts, for that hold ctrl key in your keyboard and select the thumbnail of the rectangle shape layer, now select the flower masking layer, this one, with white color selected in your foreground color pick the brush tool and hide the rectangle part you don't want in certain parts I'm going to allow the rectangle border to overlap the flower layer to create the typical realistic effect Once you're done, merge all of the layer into a single layer by using keyboard shortcut shift to control alt e. Now go to filter, select camera filter, layer reduce the temperature if you want kind of cool blue tone for warm kind of effect. Increase the temperature, it's up to you, play with the settings. I'm going to increase the vibrance and saturation to make the text effect look a little more colorful and vivid. The empty canvas looks little bit bright so I'm going to add vignette effect for that go to preset and add vignette effect here I'm going to add medium it's up to you next I'm going to add sharpening effect I'm going with light once you're done click ok there you go we got our floral text effect in photoshop